history the geological history and the denudation chronology and the denudation chronology of india aapke syllabus mein nahi hai but you should know this the geological history and the denudation chronology of india give a heading history and the denudation chronology of india now now uh, geologically geologically okay we can divide india into we can divide india into into five broad regions what are the five broad regions we can divide india into five broad regions what are they we have the uh, peninsular plateau peninsular plateau ye oldest hai this is the oldest one highly eroded highly eroded this is largely denuded largely denuded rocks and plateaus this is mostly exposed craton rocks you know this term craton ka matlab pata hai all of you what is a craton c r a t o n what is a craton so if this is the surface of the earth and these are sedimentary rocks okay inside there is a massive core this is the massive core this core is generally of what origin anybody koi continent mein core hota hai yes the core is what generally core is generally of volcanic and it is metamorphosed this this used to be a batholith this is a batholith but much 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 metamorphosed batholith but much metamorphosed okay this will be this will be okay massive this is very very large entire north america is a very large craton entire brazil is a very large craton southern africa is a craton so these are cores is core ko bolte hain craton okay so the peninsular plateau is actually such a craton so craton kya hota hai these are the core of continents they make up is what you asking me ankur ye core kya hai okay the core is that basement rock this is what is the granitic gneiss okay and the metamorphosed forms that make up the basement rocks theek hai they are at depths but dheere dheere kya hota hai the superficial layers ye layers jo hain ye erode ho jate hain they get eroded they get removed okay and this one will get exposed ye bahar dikhta hai okay so this is the exposed part of the craton okay and what are these exposed parts called what are these exposed parts called they are called as they are called as shields yes they are called as cratonic shields they are called as cratonic shields they are very very hard rocks these are very very resistant rocks so peninsular plateau of india is something like that it's a very old highly eroded highly denuded rocks and plateaus not dikes dikes are not a part of the core dikes are hyper basal formations core is a batholith or or deep hota hai core is plutonic or deep hota hai in time it gets exposed dike to bahut alag cheez hai beta dikshit you made some mistake here theek hai 
So they are hard resistant. So the peninsular plateau is something like this. This is the oldest one. Okay. Acha. The second important part of the physiographic India is the northern mountains. The northern mountains. Northern mountains. Me kya kya hai? We have what's called as a trans Himalayan mountains. We have the Himalayan mountains, and northeast me we have the Purvanchal hills. In the northeast we have the Purvanchal hills. These together are called as the northern mountains of India. Okay, Trans Himalayas me, Trans Himalayas me. What mountains do we include? We include three mountains in Trans Himalayas: Karakoram Mountains, Ladakh Range, and Zanskar or Zaskar Range. These three together are called as the Trans Himalayas: the Karakoram, the Ladakh, and the Zaskar. Karakoram, Ladakh, and Zaskar. Himalayas, आपको समझ में आता है Himalayas are three mountain ranges: the Great Himalayas, the Middle Himalayas, and the Shivaliks. And the Shivaliks. Okay. And northeast में the Purvanchal hills जो हैं, Purvanchal hills are in four states: the hills of Nagaland, the hills of Manipur, the hills of Tripura. एंड हिल्स ऑफ मिजोराम ये चारों हिल्स को बोलते हैं पूर्वांचल हिल्स द हिल्स ऑफ नागालैंड द हिल्स ऑफ मणिपुर त्रिपुरा एंड मिजोराम एंड मिजोराम ये द ग्रेट हिमालयाज द मिडिल हिमालयाज एंड शिवालिक्स वो हिमालयाज हो गया सिफ आई शो दिस ऑन The map of India. You can all try drawing this, please. So this is the. ठीक है. The northern part of India. इतना ही बनाइए पहले आप. Make whatever way you can. For some of you, I've taught how to make. Others who have joined me new, I'll teach you eventually. So. ये आपके मेन हिमालयाज हैं दिस इज द हिमालयाज दिस इज द हिमालयाज यहां पर कुछ रेंजेस हैं दिस रेंज दिस एंड दिस एंड यू हैव एंड यू हैव Okay. यहां पर माउंटेन्स है यहां माउंटेन्स है ठीक है सो दिस इज हिमालयाज दिस इज द हिमालयाज राइट अप टू हियर ये जो हिल्स हैं दीज आर कॉल्ड एज The Purvanchal Hills, and these three are the Trans Himalayas. In the most north, the Karakoram Hill is a range, the Ladakh Range and the Zaskar Range. Please make this sketch. The northern mountains of India. Okay. बस नाम है इसमें क्लासिफिकेशन थोड़ी है ये द नेम्स है दिस इज नॉट क्लासिफिकेशन इज जस्ट नेम्स ओके दे ऑल बिलोंग टू द सेम टाइम ऑल ऑफ देम आर टर्शई माउंटेन्स ऑल ऑफ देम आर यंग फोल्ड माउंटेन्स ऑल ऑफ देम ओके दे आर हाई एलिवेशंस ऑफ इंडिया ओके पीर पंजल इज पार्ट ऑफ द हिमालयस हिमालयस के दो तीन पार्ट है The Great Himalayas, the Middle and the Shivaliks. So, Pir Panjal is part of the Middle Himalayas. Pir Panjal part of 
the middle himalayas this is a quick beginning very bahut elementary gs ka hi part hai nothing extraordinary here this is part of gs the trans himalayan mountains the himalayas and the purvanchal hills of india the purvanchal hills nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura this is the second part of indian physiography okay the peninsular plateau is the oldest one the peninsular plateau ye jo rocks hai these are mostly and purana rocks the himalayas and the northern mountains these are mostly tertiary rocks they are tertiary formations the plateau is archaean and purana the himalayas the trans himalayas and the northern mountains are mostly tertiary formations the third unit of india this is the northern plains northern plains northern plains are basically what they are the flood plains of the northern river systems of two systems is ke part hai the indus system the gangetic system and the brahmaputra is also referred to as the assam plains the indus the gangetic and brahmaputra okay and indus includes mostly the plains of pakistan and punjab in terms of the age okay these are pleiocene and uh pleistocene approximately around 2 to 1.5 million years of the three major units the northern plains are relatively the younger ones the northern plains are relatively the younger ones the flood plains of northern rivers aur yahan yaad rakho that these are depositional sediments they are not consolidated rocks ye rocks nahi hai like ye flood plains these are the flood plains of the rivers they are depositional sediments so yahan par soil zyada important ho jata hai they are not consolidated rocks so don't don't call them as tertiary rocks the depositional sediments okay they are ultimately part of the alluvial soils of india they are part of the alluvial soils of india so ye three major units i think all of you know this this is very very elementary part of indian physiography discussions the three parts of india the peninsular plateau the northern mountains and the northern plains and the northern plains iske ilawa there are two other uh, a secondary physiographic units okay the pehle the the primary the isme hai coastal plains and we have the islands of india so indian physiography india ka jo landmass hai can be divided into these five okay the peninsular plateau the northern mountains the northern plains the coastal plains of india and the islands of india coastal plains these are both they are wave and they are 
of fluvial depositions they are both the wave depositions and also fluvial depositions okay islands andaman and nicobar islands and lakshadweep islands these are coral islands these are arki pelagos these are volcanic origin plus they also have coral reefs archipelagos why because margins of oo collision hai and the indian austral plate and part of the pacific eurasian plate so archipelagos hai these are volcanic islands okay plus they have coral formations they have coral formations lakshadweep islands are entirely coral they are entirely coral coastal plains wave bhi hai and fluvial depositions bhi hai so if i put this as a diagram map of india so you all try to draw whatever you can some of you have been taught others who have joined late okay so you have to be a bit more patient aapko bhi sikha denge but for now whatever you can draw please draw the map of india map of india so this and this in other planes ban gaya this is the plateau region also includes this coastal region coastal region the coast this is the coast you all draw these sketches okay you have got no okay excuse sabko banana hi padega peninsular plateau these are all the northern plains of india yahan par islands hain bana lo do teen so this and this what did i write in islands of india islands of india they are partly volcanic in origin and they are partly coral in origin